what the heck are ear crystals and why do they cause vertigo in some people? Welcome back to my series about BPPV. This is part two where I will answer the question, what are ear crystals? If you see a question you would like answered here, go to the BPPV playlist on my profile and select the corresponding part. My name is Amy Moore and I'm a vestibular PT, which means I treat vertigo, dizziness, and balance problems. If you have any friends or relatives who have experienced vertigo symptoms, you've probably heard the term ear crystals. Well, it's not exactly a made up term, but the term ear crystals is actually a slang term. They're scientifically called otoliths or otoconia, and everyone is born with about 100,000 of them in each ear. Ear crystals are an essential part of our anatomy, which we need for balance and motion sensing. They're often called ear crystals because they look like little granules of sand. Otoliths are made of calcium carbonate and they're shaped like this. While you can see them with the naked eye and cadaver dissection, they are clear tiny rocks located inside of clear fluid inside of tubes within your skull. So seeing them is not really in the cards and no, you cannot see them with an x-ray, CT scan or MRI. The inner ear is a series of tubes that are embedded inside your skull behind your ear. The inner ear consists of the cochlea, which is used for hearing, and the vestibular apparatus, which is used for balance and motion sensing. Within the vestibular apparatus, the tubes are called the semicircular canals, and the sacs are called the utricle and the saccule. The crystals live within a sticky membrane inside the utricle and the saccule. Their job is to weigh down that membrane so that it bends and moves like a jello mold when you move or change positions. There are nerve endings inside that membrane, which will send impulses to your brain when they are bent to indicate that there has been movement. The brain uses these impulses to sense motion, to position your eyes within your head when your head moves, and to help with balance reactions throughout your body. When the crystals dislodge or crumble from the membrane, it is abnormal, and it is a condition called BPPV, which stands for Benign Paroxysmal Positional Vertigo. The objective of treating BPPV is to get those crystals back into the utricle where they can find and rebond to the membrane. If you have issues with vertigo, be sure to see your primary care doctor, an ENT, or a vestibular physical therapist for proper diagnosis and treatment, as this series is educational only and not meant to be medical advice. And give me a follow for more great information, tips, and tricks on all things dizziness, balance, and vertigo problems.